In this video, we're going to be talking about multiplication and division of simple fractions. And really, when we talk about multiplication and division of fractions, we're just talking about multiplication of fractions, and I'll show you why in a second. So we're going to start with this first example here. It's a multiplication problem with fractions. We have the fraction 1 half times the fraction 3 over 10. And when we're multiplying fractions, it's actually, in a way, a lot easier than even adding and subtracting fractions because all we do is multiply our numerators together to get our new numerator, and we multiply our denominators together to get our new denominator. So we say 1 times 3 is 3, we get our new numerator, and 2 times 10 is 20, we get our new denominator. And that's it. All we have to do is make sure that our fraction is simplified as much as possible, meaning that it's in lowest terms, our answer is in lowest terms, and as long as it is, then we're done. And in fact, 3 and 20 have no common factors, so this is simplified or reduced as much as possible, and so 3 over 20 is our final answer. If we look at another example here, we have 3 over 5, or 3 fifths, times 6 over 4, and if we multiply these together, we get 3 times 6 is 18, so our new numerator is 18. Our denominator, we get 5 times 4 is 20, our new denominator. And now we just need to reduce this. Both the numerator and the denominator are even numbers, so we know we can divide both of them by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So we've reduced the fraction. We can't reduce 9 tenths any further, so this is going to be our final answer. So multiplication of fractions is just as simple as that. Multiply the numerators together, multiply the denominators together, and reduce the answer if you can. Division of fractions is only slightly more complicated. All we're going to do is turn this into a multiplication problem, and here's how we do it. When we have one fraction divided by another, so in this example we have one half divided by one third, all we're going to do is take the fraction that's being divided, the second fraction, and we're going to find its reciprocal, meaning we're going to flip it upside down. So we're going to change the places of the numerator and denominator. So the reciprocal of one over three is three over one. We just put the denominator in the numerator and the numerator in the denominator. So we flip their places. And when we flip the places, when we find the reciprocal of this fraction, then instead of doing division, we do multiplication. So we're going to leave this first fraction exactly as it is, one half. Instead of division, we're going to do multiplication, and then we're just going to flip this fraction upside down. So instead of 1 over 3, we'll get 3 over 1. And now, this is just a multiplication problem. It's as simple as that. So again, just like with multiplication, 1 times 3 in the numerators is 3, 2 times 1 in the denominators is 2, and we have our final answer of 3 over 2. We'll do a second example here. We have 5 eighths divided by 2 thirds. Again, we'll leave the first fraction as is, 5 eighths. Instead of doing division, we'll do multiplication, and then we'll take our second fraction and flip it upside down. So instead of 2 over 3, we'll do 3 over 2. And then this is a multiplication problem, and we just multiply straight across. So 5 times 3 in the numerators gives us 15. 8 times 2 in the denominators gives us 16, and our final answer is 15 over 16. So that's how you do division with fractions. One thing to note, you might see fraction division problems written this way. Instead of 5 eighths divided by 2 thirds with our division sign like this, you might see it like this, 5 eighths divided by 2 thirds. In other words, one large fraction with fractions in the numerator and the denominator. It's just the same thing. These two things right here mean the same thing. This is 5 eighths divided by 2 thirds. So when you see this, you can take the numerator, 5 eighths, and just say instead of divided by 2 thirds, you can multiply by whatever you get when you flip this denominator upside down. So instead of 2 over 3, you do 3 over 2, and now you have a fraction multiplication problem just like we did here, and you multiply across and you get 15 over 16. So that's how you do multiplication and division with simple fractions.